My name is Sanjay Krishna Ravichandran. I am the Communications and Finance Director of Consciabile. Hi, my name is Sukumar Kathikraj and I am the Technical and Backend Lead for Consciabile. Hi, I'm Ajun Manohar. I'm the Creative Director of Contribite, as well as the UI, UX, and Software Developer. Hi, my name is Santosh, and I'm the Data Procurement and Marketing Director. Hi, I'm Deeraj. I'm the Research and Development Director. Hey everybody, my name is Adrian, and together with my teammates Sanjay, Kartik Raj, Santosh, and Deeraj, we'd like to introduce you to our non-profit initiative, Contribite. Before diving in, let's share a bit about ourselves. We're five friends, currently in our first year at university, each of us hailing from different academic fields, which we believe adds a unique interdisciplinary edge to our project. While brainstorming ideas, we observed a pattern. We are keen on choosing the right food for our health, but seldom consider the environmental impact of these foods. This realization led us to a broader question about consumer choices and their consequences. Upon further research, we had a startling picture. Modern society is witnessing a surge in consumerism. Many of us purchase far more than we genuinely need, but what repercussions does this have on our planet? Almost 45% of consumers are uninformed about the environmental practices of major brands they support. This unawareness directly affects the world we live in, as these purchasing decisions unknowingly contribute to environmental degradation. According to Green Queen, by 2025, the dominant segment of the workforce will be Gen Z. Two-thirds of this upcoming workforce are eager to witness a revolution in our food production systems. They advocate for a sustainable approach aligning with their broader vision for our planet. But here's a thought. What if we could cater to the segment of the population? What if we empowered them with knowledge, helping them discern which of their purchases genuinely align with sustainability? The potential is vast. The ethical labeling market is primed for significant growth. Our findings indicate a promising compounded annual growth rate of 6.51%, with a potential market value scaling to a whopping 372.7 billion US dollars from 2021 to 2026. Our inspiration is drawn from trailblazers in the field. Companies like the Global Recycle Standard and Organic Content Standard have set benchmarks in ethical labeling. Their success stories motivate us. We have recognized the need for actionable insights at one's fingertips, so we developed an app that enlightens our users on the environmental footprint of edible products. Our goal? Empowering consumers to make informed, sustainable choices every time they shop. Now there are two ways we can get the data. One is from the manufacturer themselves, whom we will charge to give them a green grade. The other is using machine learning to scrape the data from other resources such as official government sustainability filings. Our proprietary green grade algorithm takes in the carbon emission data for each food product for seven different categories. Land use change, animal feed, farm, processing, transport, packaging, and retail. Based on the emissions in these categories, the algorithm calculates a total score out of 10 to gauge how sustainable the product is. With 10 being the most and 0 being the least, we chose a scale of 10 as it is small enough to be user-friendly while being big enough to capture the impact of the carbon emissions without needing to know a reference point. The score will be color-coded, red, yellow, and green. This helps the user to immediately tell from visual inspection how good the product's sustainability is. So, when the user looks for food products in our app, the color-coded grade is what they see first. For the nerds, they can choose to have a closer look at this number. They will be able to expand and see where the carbon emissions are mainly coming from. With a breakdown of the grade and actual emission numbers, we feel like this transparency with the consumer is vital to ensure trust between us and the user, so they will be more willing to use it to aid their purchasing decisions. After looking at the grade, if the user chooses to purchase the product, they can click on links in the product description that can take them to a seller's site to make their purchase. Online customers are not the only ones limited to using green grade. If customers see a product in a store, they can scan it using our app and get the green grade for it on the spot before making their purchasing decision. Our initial algorithm findings was based on this given data set. This data set derived from published research illuminated the environmental consumption of foundational raw ingredients such as beef, coffee, etc. The business model of Contribite encompasses a multifaceted revenue generation approach. We are currently a B2B company charging the producers and later have plans to charge sellers, both physical and e-commerce sellers. We will invite food companies to present their products on our application while availing themselves to our professional grading service for their production procedures. We provide them with a prominent exposure and enhanced credibility within the marketplace. 
The fee structure for companies will be established as a fixed amount, determined in accordance with the number of products they intend to showcase on our platform. In the future, our strategic roadmap includes the optimization of the search functionality for our customers. This will allow them to sort sustainable products and provide recommendations based on their green grade. We intend to implement an additional revenue stream by offering companies the opportunity to enhance their visibility within the search results for a branding fee. It is important to note that while this feature offers enhanced visibility, our commitment to integrity remains unwavering. We plan to cultivate strategic partnerships with e-commerce platforms, providing them with the opportunity to incorporate direct purchase links to the products. Our revenue strategy for this initiative is designed around a profit-sharing model. Under this arrangement, e-commerce platforms will remit a payment to our entity, calculated as a percentage of the profits they accrue as a direct result of customer interactions originating from the links within our application. An annual review of this exact percentage cut will be done. We also envision printed grade labels on the products, exclusively featuring our grading system alongside a unique QR code. The scanning of this QR code by customers will grant them access to a succinct description of the assigned grading and the rationale behind it. The revenue generation model for this will commence with the imposition of a fixed payment system per product, adorned with our physical grade sticker. We will be having two separate strategies to target two demographics, the consumers and the producers of the food products. Starting with the consumers, we're tapping into the pulse of today's digital age by leveraging platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Ensuring we're where the conversation is, aligning with sustainability champions, we'll collaborate with influencers and organizations that embody and promote green values. The future is in their hands. We are reaching out to younger demographics through university events and sustainability-focused gatherings. Next, we will look into how we can get the producers to use Contribyte. By uploading insightful content and research to sustainability forums and business magazines, we're staking our claim as thought leaders in this space. We will participate in technology and sustainability symposiums. Our presence will be felt in tech and sustainability symposiums, positioning Contribyte as a go-to solution for sustainable choices. With a dedicated sales team, we'll pitch Contribyte directly to potential clients, showcasing its value proposition. We're aiming high, seeking collaborations with esteemed organizations like the Ministry of Sustainability in Singapore to encourage producers to adopt and endorse Contribyte. Our initiative at its core is deeply rooted in science. By quantifying the environmental implications of food production, we are delving into the realms of ecology and environmental science. These are both branches which fall under both life science and sustainability. The availability of comprehensive data and fostering collaborations with companies for access remains a challenge. Ensuring diverse data sources harmonize with our algorithm is vital for consistent and accurate insights. We are on a continuous vigil to ensure the data is genuine, unaltered, and not manipulated by producers. Balancing our mission with financial sustainability, especially with server costs, is crucial for our long-term impact. As pioneers introducing a novel concept, skepticism is natural. While some companies may be hesitant initially, we're committed and confident in showcasing our value proposition and winning their trust. We acknowledge these challenges, but view them as stepping stones towards a brighter, more sustainable future. Our dedication and drive will navigate us through these waters. Thank you very much.